a Sunday afternoon in the park. Sounds like a lazy, relaxing day filled with sun and a picnic. And rightfully so, we did a little of that. But when my friends and I took a trip to the English Regatta in Munich, we were in for a more eventful day than we planned. We started out by finding the park a feat of its own and walking along the river that runs through the park, the Eisbach. Finding out we could swim, we watched a few people rush down and learn how to jump out, snag a root or branch from a tree before you hit the surfing area. Of course, the surfers of the area are a huge part of Munich legend. With no ocean to catch waves, why did Munich have such a large surfing community? Well, we surely found out when we watched some locals ride the little dam that was on the ice block, and even saw a trick or two. After fulfilling our amazement for the day, we decided to find a place of our own to sit. Wandering around, we were just about to lean back when we heard some jingling, and lo and behold, a cart pulled by four horses decked out in Bavarian colors trotted by. Curious as to what it was, we s and starting to feel a rumbling in our stomachs, we headed in the direction the cart had come from, and we pulled al along farther by some music. As is the theme of living in Munich, we stumbled upon a festival happening right in the middle of the park. There was a traditional band playing, and not much later, we heard a traditional song being played on the Alpenhorn, an instrument I only recognized from Cultural Music Mondays my advisory teacher presented for four years. The traditional song was just the opening, and next were the traditional dancers. First came the children, who were quite adorable. Our day was far from over, of course. As we were finding our way to the city streets, we came across a violinist at the Diana Temple in the middle of the Hofgarten. The music didn't stop there, though. On the streets, we saw a trio of street performers who were amazing. Everywhere you turn in Munich, there's some sort of music, from a harp to a radio of something relaxing in a, on a platz or square. We ended our exploration in the Theatner Kirche, a church right outside the official entrance to the English Hagaten. One of the only churches in the Italian Baroque style this side of the Alps, it was gorgeous to see, with such a beautiful detailing, a quiet end to a day full of surprises. Though our first visit to the garden had many more surprises than expected, returning events have been much more laid back. Our group now has a spot, and we take many trips of our own down the Eisbach. And though there have been less Schuplatler, there is always something to do in Munich, and so easy to get around with their transportation. I'm enjoying myself immensely and hope to continue to post videos. Tschu!